this is a quick video on Cartesian products. I wanted to include a Cartesian products video because we didn't put one in the lecture and um, it's something that you're probably going to end up seeing on a test. And Cartesian product problems are actually they're pretty easy but of course the first time you see them it, it's going to look pretty hard and, and it might be hard starting out. But later on um, they can get difficult when on a test for example an instructor will put they'll want you to find the intersection of two different Cartesian products and that can be a little confusing if you're not familiar with Cartesian products so we're gonna go over some simple examples here okay basically what a Cartesian product is it's basically the cross product of two sets or I guess two or more sets and you represent the products in ordered pairs so for example if I were to take the cross product of A times B which would be denoted like this A times B um, I would take A and pair with B and then take A and pair with E and then I would do that again with B it would be B B B E and then C B C E and that would be the Cartesian product of A times B or the cross product of A and B um, it's important to note that you wouldn't turn around and do B A B B B C and then E A E B E C you, you would not do that unless of course you're doing B times A in this case you're just doing A times B so in the element from A is always going to be the first element in the ordered pair that you're creating. If that confused you a little don't worry um, I'm about to show you how to do it. So um, the cross product of A times B is going to be AB and then you're going to put that in ordered pair and then AE and then BB and B and then you're done that's the Cartesian product of A times B but sometimes um, oh wow I guess you're not done actually I completely forgot about C so let me fix this we'll, we'll do C real quick okay okay so I forgot we definitely need to add CB and C. Now you're done. And that's the Cartesian product of A times B. A, B, A, E, B, 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 E, C, B, C, E. And then you're done. Okay, so sometimes you're going to have Cartesian products that have more elements than that. And there's um, an easier, more visual way to represent a Cartesian product, which I'm going to show you real quick. I'm gonna, let me erase this because I need the room. Maybe it could have gone without erasing it, but oh well. Okay. Basically, the way we're going to do this is, is you can represent it as a table. Okay, so you would take, let's say, this time we'll do A times C. So, completely ignore B right now. We're just going to do A times C. So you take A and put the elements of A. Um, actually, you want to put them... You want to put them on the left side. Okay, we got A, B, and C are elements from A. And we have, this is going to be our table. And then we have our elements from C, which are going to be X, Y, and Z. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a is the first one from the first row here and pair it with the um, first element from the first column here which is X and then you're going to do A Y and then A Z and then you're going to go down here and do the same thing B X B Y B Z and then you're going to go down here and do the same thing and basically you can see that this is the exact same thing I just did with A times B only C has one more element than B does and we just did it um, in a table it's just an easier way to represent it visually and you kinda keep things in order and you know that you have you've included every cross product here and that's your basic introduction to Cartesian products